Morning, everybody. Morning. 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 Uh, the Henry County Commissioner's Court regular meeting, December 21st, 2021, 9 a.m. Uh, the last meeting of the year. As y'all know, we normally have these every second, fourth Tuesday. But since uh, it is the Christmas season and uh, also New Year's falls in just right behind there, the, the week, uh, well, the fourth Tuesday was going to be right in the middle of those occasions. So we, we always bump it up every year to uh, the second and third Tuesday. That way we everyone can have an opportunity to enjoy some time with their families and uh, celebrate the uh, joyous occasion. Okay. Um, let's see. We have news for the court this morning. Commissioner Kromiowski is here. Commissioner our third Commissioner Wilson here. Uh, Commissioner Meyer is not with us today. So, uh, but we do have a quorum established, and let's just say we have this for the court. Uh, if we would all rise. Uh, you some flags? Yes, sir. And, uh, Please face the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America. America. Please face the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. Texas, one state, under God, one And uh, all pray with me that this said it's the last quarter of the year. But it's also the season of the year that I think is probably all of our most favorite season of the year. Uh, birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So um, time for celebration, time for time with your families. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for each and every day this year. Allow us to get up and well, bless us to get up put our feet on the ground and go forward and, and do the best we can. We hope that everything that we do is pleasing in your eyes. We hope that everything we do is to help our fellow man, help our fellow citizens to show the love that we should to one another. Lord, as we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your blessings. We thank you for your wisdom that you give us. We thank you for salvation that is promised. All we have to have is your grace and your faith and our faith to go along with that. The, um, as we move into the new year, Lord, we hope that you will be with us each step, that you bless each and every one of us not just in our nation, in our country, in our state, in our city, but also in our in our world, that we learn <clears throat> to love one another and show love to one another as Jesus showed to us. So Lord, may the grace of your grace and the grace of Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all through this season and to the coming year. And Lord, we, we pray that we have a blessed year, a most wonderful year, and an event to celebrate throughout the year. As these things in our name, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Our gift shall be the gift, the memo about ugly sweaters. Uh, Looks like, <laughs> <laughs> looks like Nick and I got the only one, but anyway, uh, I wore my ugly sweater today, but golly, y'all, one of those days. Hey, no, that's, that's, that's the budget right there. I mean, even the sheriff got, even the sheriff got the memo to wear his Christmas shirt. He got red and green on, getting low. Uh, Harold didn't have, didn't have any maroon on today. I'm kind of <laughs> perplexed about that a little bit. That's okay. And Greg's not wearing red. I wore my Christmas shirt. 
I think he has at least your Texas Tech shirt on. <laughs> oh, boy. By the way, did you ever get a new coach? I'm just checking. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, it, we do have uh, some time coming for a lot of folks that, that uh, you have the opportunity to go visit with your families, friends, and celebrate. Great gatherings, I hope, and uh, festifications. And, um, just remember what the season's all about. And I'm sure that we all will because that's what we do right here at every account. We know where we came The uh, Please be safe. Uh, love your loved ones, love your children, and enjoy your grandchildren. It, uh, I know I'm going to. That's one of the neatest blessings I ever had was having grandkids. And my youngest one's three. So it's really going to be a show this year. <laughs> and Greg, you got one that's pretty young too. What? How old is your youngest? Oh, uh, about four months. Four months. Okay. And you got two others that are one of them's about four and one of them's about six or something. I got them in four months, twenty-one years old. Oh, Leon, <laughs> <laughs> you, you got two. I got two not Two not hits. <laughs> See, there, it uh, works pretty good. So anyway, that I think, uh, what we're talking about this. Let's uh, say a prayer for Mr. Kim today. Yeah, she's having a, she's a waiting through the night and early this morning for birth of her birth. That's right. Yeah. So, matter of fact, I, I thought it was going to happen a few minutes ago because yeah. I got a phone call that it ain't here yet. But I figure we're gonna your phone will probably blow up when it does happen. So get ready. But, uh, I know I got her anyway. Uh, after court today, I know if y'all walked through the halls a while ago, you probably saw a bunch of tables out. And uh, I'm, I'm glad that uh, Cosmo Hulls is here because he'll keep y'all all in check. We'll let y'all run over each other going to the tables. But there, I uh, got Christmas cookies, coffee, uh, and some cocoa after court in the hallway. <laughs> so uh, that's Merry Christmas from the Commissioner's Court and everybody that got uh, together and, and brought goodies and sacks of good stuff. And uh, I think Clint even cooked some cookies last night. I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I don't think we have any wild pot or anything like that. <laughs> anyway, let's call the meeting to order. Uh, we declare conflicts of interest. Actually, notice some proclamations first. I don't think we have any of those except the, uh, the proclamation that's proclaimed the season. Uh, public comments, no one. No one, well, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Um, and Dillian's not here, and I, I think we're just going to have to start posting like crazy, but the legislature, God help them, um, they changed, they did it, they, they passed a significant bill, Senate Bill 41, and it's got every clerk in the state freaking out at the moment. What they did was they changed all of the filing fees for civil, family law, and probate court cases. And they are going up substantially. And it means substantially. Um, as hard as I work to get our prices down, they're raising them back up. It, it's to the point where if you file, the basic fees on a probate is going to be $400 and up. It's very expensive. Um, I would have brought it before you guys, but they did. They don't even make it discretionary anymore. It's just these are the fees. But the commissioner's court doesn't get to say, you know, in a range or anything. It's just these are the fees. Um, they're putting in some new procedures where the state is going to pull their stuff off the top. So there's going to be some new computer activity that's going to make the probability of error very great. So I am just, I've got to get out more in the lawyers, I guess, and anybody following a case first and get it in before January 3rd, I mean, December 31st, if you can, because it'll be cheaper. And if you file after January, the prices will be higher. Um, there will be some stuff happening with e-file and uh, just give us patience, bear with us. Um, you know, we're going to do the best we can to implement all these new procedures. And it's not just us, it's every county in the state district clerks, county clerks, the whole bit. So, um, and the other thing is, is we still have until February 28th to get the, the cattle brands done. So, <laughs> but the uh, deadline is coming on that one too. 
So we've got some big changes happening after the new year. New fees, substantial new fees. Um, I don't know if you guys seen them. They're creating some ones that we've never had before. They repealed some, uh, but they added like a facilities fee and a language access fee. And so there's some new fees that we're going to be collecting money for, uh, for some new funds that I guess at some point you guys get to figure out how you want to spend it. But um, anyway, the new fees go into effect January 1. They are very different. It's a, uh, a substantial change in... I just, you know, you get a chance to tell everybody we're trying to get the word out that um, uh, big changes are coming. And it's going to be, uh, I'm scared to death. So anyway, bear with us. We're, we're going to do the best we can. We've got everything programmed. I think we're ready. But it's uh, it's kind of some big, big changes with regards to filing fees and how we do the following and everything as of January 1. Okay. So that's it. Oh. <coughs> Yeah, any conflicts of interest? I don't believe you will be serious if you have any. So we'll move right along to the consent agenda. Uh, Andrew, do you have any add ons by any chance? I do have one addition. Uh, we talked about it last quarter, but we want to go ahead and add it on. It's the payment to the Texas Materials Gulf Coast. It's a GLO payment uh, for a grant. And the draw was approved. You guys, like I said, you talked about it last week, but we just wanted to put it out there because it didn't make it on the payables list and we we're going to cut the check today. It's $727,538.22. Okay. okay. And I have one, uh, it's a early Christmas present from the sheriff. Looks like uh, Liberty County Sheriff's Office would like to transfer the following vehicles to the county judge's office 2014 Tahoe. A 2015 Ford Explorer and a 2017 Ford Explorer. And thank you, Sheriff. We'll find some place for them to go to. It, uh, do they run? Oh, yeah. I haven't seen them yet, so I, okay. Sergeant, I'll up here to test all that. Okay. So, Brian uh, Hall's got a new motor, new transmission in with a 100,000 mile warranty on it in Jasper. And the Two explorers that have a used motor in it because it was cheaper to replace the motor in it than it was to uh, change the water pump in it. Oh. Imagine that. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll have to get a Bruce on that. He's our mechanic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So uh, I'd like to add those that those three vehicles and, uh, and we'll find a good place for them. Uh, anything else? If not, we'll entertain a motion. Move to approve the consent agenda with initial. Got a motion from Greg. Second, second Leon. All favor say aye. Aye. Likewise. Thanks. Thanks, thank you, gentlemen. Number eight, uh, regular agenda for Mr. C. Considered and approved lease to purchase agreements for a BOMAC BW 120 SL5 Tandem Vibratory Rotor in a new sand. DX85R3, the excavator, and attachments from the Welch State Bank for Precinct 4. Purchase of and financing previously approved in Commissioner's Court on November 23rd, 21. So, Harold, what do you think? say, y'all, we've already been approved. Uh, financing terms are, uh, were approved, but these are the final documents from Welch State Bank for the purchase agreement with Liberty County. Uh, lease 68173 is for the roller and 68174 is for the uh, excavator. And this is on here basically to get it in the minutes. Uh, it's already been pre approved, but this is for the minutes. All right, I've got a motion. Leon, say you can agree to approve. All there to say aye. Likewise, that has to jump. Number two on the regular agenda. Uh, Mr. C, consider to approve an evaluation committee consisting of David Douglas, Don Nealon, and myself for qualifications and proposals submitted to construction manager and risk services for the Northwest Annex. And this is a construction manager at risk, is what you're going to use. Uh, make sure that things are built correctly. And, uh, yeah, we uh, advertise, uh, so receive so. qualifications, and we, we have seven of them that we received. So this is the suggested committee to evaluate. Okay. Thank you, motion to approve. Second. Yeah, motion to Bruce. Second, Greg to approve. I'll say aye. Aye. 
Likewise, but that was the case. Thank you, gentlemen. <coughs> Number three for Ms. Harris, uh, <coughs> consider and approve amendments to the bylaws of the Liberty County Group Benefits Pool, including but not limited to increasing the number of members on the committee to seven and allowing retirees to serve on the committee. And we discussed this uh, part, partially tabled at the last meeting. We had cleaned up the wording in the, uh, in the uh, bylaws to uh, make these changes, and this is the uh, the opportunity to do so. So what is the court's pleasure? Make the motion to approve. Yeah. Motion to approve. Second grade to approve. If they were say aye. Aye. Uh, Black Lives Matter. That motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Number four, uh, Ms. Harris, also consider and approve the appointment of Angela Maselli, First Assistant County Auditor, and Shelby Kane, Assistant County Attorney, the Liberty County Benefits Pool. Uh, that's going to be, we have five members, we're going to add two, that's going to be seven. And then we just changed the, the bylaws, if you look on there, to allow retirees to serve. So when uh, Joanne Smith retires in a couple of months, we're going to keep her. And yeah. she agreed to stay. So that everybody that's going to get some good service this way. So mm -hmm. once the court's pleasure to approve. Okay, motion from Greg, second from Leon to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. <clears throat> Number five, Mr. Poston, County Attorney, considered approved amendment to Tyler Modria contract adding SMS functionality. Wow, what a word. And requiring no additional expenditure of funds. So, what is SMS? SMS is text message. Okay. Uh, and so, Tyler Modria is a uh, online dispute resolution uh, service. Uh, so typically uh, courts, instead of sending folks to mediation or something else, can send them to this program. Uh, and the, the folks will get online, they'll be able to communicate through this, uh, this portal and, and, and uh, answer some questions that are designed to get them to agree, you know, to a, a resolution of their issue. Anyways, so, but the service uh, has some text uh, uh, messaging functionality. Only way it can get turned on is if we agree to the standard terms uh, not to do anything wonky or crazy with the with text messaging. So uh, this no no additional cost. We just have to agree to the standard terms and, and they can turn it on. Okay. Make a motion to approve. Second. Motion to Leon. <coughs> Second Greg to approve. Favor say aye. Aye. Uh, likewise. No. That motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Number six from Commissioner Arthur. Consider and approve the appointment of Brett Audlett to board of ESB 7. That's over, is that correct? Or is that no, right? Martin. Martin. Okay, that's right. Good choice. Been a fireman for how many years? 26. 26. All right. Make a motion to approve. Second. Motion for Bruce. Second, Greg to approve. All in favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, days. Motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Number seven. Uh, Consider and approve appointment of Roy Lee, Delivery County Housing Authority Board of Commissioners for a term of one year. And uh, we had one member that rolled off and uh, actually resigned. Yeah. And uh, well, because of other duties. So uh, Roy Lee would be taking the place of uh, Emily Cook. No, I'm Thank you. Motion to approve. Thank you. Motion to be on, say, Greg. All in favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, next. That motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. And uh, I guess Roy, Roy can come by and get the paperwork off signed up. Okay. Uh, number eight for Mr. Bush. Consider and approve the correction, not pro tunk, <laughs> order <laughs> approving the redistricting of the county's commissioner and justice precincts and establishing new commissioner and justice precinct boundary lines based on the 2020 census data for county elections and providing for an effective date. So Mr. Bush, you might up here. Lead us through this and what the words mean. Exactly. Real simple. Um, I had to look the Latin up as well. Um, it basically means to correct an order which I've already done. This is a corrective order for previous commissioner's courts, not this class of commissioners. When we've done redistricting several times before, you ordered, or the court has ordered, that the JV lines will be concurrent with the uh, constable lines as well as commissioner's lines. 
that causes lots of issues that we that we learned this particular uh, redistricting process. So this order rescinds the order that previous courts have done and sets the county on the right path for redistricting from here on out. It's, it's just a simple corrective order. Okay. Thank you, to approve. Nope. No, 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 no. no. no we use uh, non protons all the time. And, in uh, you know other courts as well, so uh, but uh, I mean, that's the exact right terminology. What the right way to think about is, is this corrects another order, and the non proton is the corrective order. Right. So, yeah. Well, I thought we were going to use none chucks here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the constable won't have to take any and will still be the same. Yes, sir. they don't have to be locked to y'all. Yeah, that's the problem. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Got a second. Huh? We don't have a second. Second. Got us. Uh, Bruce, you made the motion? Yes. Yes. Save with Greg. I'll never say hi. Uh, hi. Likewise, thanks. That motion carries. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Mr. Bruce, appreciate it. We are officially done with the redistricting now. We have a hallelujah. We have a hallelujah. Number nine, uh, consider approved Timothy McGee for primary member for the Transportation Advisory Committee for HGAC. And Robert Reynolds as the alternate member. Uh, Timothy chairs the transportation committee for the city of Cleveland, and a very hardworking young man. And he he wants to help, and I'm glad he does want to help because he stays on top of his business. And of course, Mr. Reynolds is the uh, director for their EDC in Cleveland, and we they agreed to uh, help us have the representation we need in that area. And I appreciate your consideration. Uh, we we approve of. Second. <coughs> Motion granted. Second, Leon to approve. I'll never say aye. Aye. Likewise, man. Motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. And number 10, uh, consider approving Alexis Cordova as the primary member of the Transportation Safety Committee in the category of health care, education, and social service, and advocacy groups for HGAC. And this, this follows perfectly in. Uh, what Alexis does for us through uh, AgriLife, uh, particularly on the, uh, the healthcare and the uh, education and social service side too. So I uh, gave her a call and said, would you consider serving on this committee? She said, you bet I would. So uh, I appreciate your consideration as well. Motion Leon, second grade to approve. I'll never say aye. Aye. Likewise, thanks. With that being done, if I'm not mistaken, David, you can check with me on that for sure. But I think just about every committee at HGAC, we have a member someplace in there. Yes, I think you're correct. And that was something that uh, we've been working towards since 2015. And, and let me explain just what happens on this a lot of times, just for general knowledge. These are non paid positions, they're voluntary. <coughs> You gotta go to Houston. You gotta fight a battle. You have to know your business. And these people step up to the plate and they're willing to do so. And I sure appreciate it because it, even though we've been doing a lot of our uh, meetings by Zoom, uh, next year we're scheduled to start going back to Houston and fight the battle. Uh, well, when I turn off of uh, <clears throat> off of uh, 59 right by Joel Osteen's church. I do start praying because I'm going to Timmons Life. Okay. And it, uh, that's where HDAC is located. And those are some pretty good meetings. If you've never been to a, a transportation policy council meeting, some of them last six hours. It, uh, and it is a battle. Where do we get our funding for projects? Think about this right there. The $57 million that we have for an overpass uh, or an overpass in Dayton came from going to the Transportation Policy Council, digging our heels in and saying, we need this help. And it, it passed. You have to fight. You have to do the battle. And I appreciate the folks that step up and help us do this. But uh, that's how we go through the prioritization of projects. We get on the call for projects. We get funded for projects, and then we dog out tech stock to get it built. That's the only way you can do it. it you don't call a congressman or a, a United States senator and say, please, they ain't going to write a check, okay? 
but HGAC will make it happen if you get in there and, and duke it out. So that's how it works. Just thought I'd throw that out there for the consideration of the court and the public. Uh, number 11 from Mr. Karbowski, Commissioner. Consider and approve moving the fuel tank from the old jail to Roden Bridge One, uh, the precinct barn off of you know, that. That tank has been sitting there a while, and is it okay? I mean, I'm going to get uh, old Hebert's, whatever their new name is, have no idea, to actually pump it out, Let's check it out before we do. But I know eventually we're going to have to move that tank anyway. Yeah. It used to service the sheriff's department. Uh, hopefully, I can uh, reuse this, keep me from having to buy a tank out there on you. Can't there you go. I know it's it's the power thing that's up for a couple of years. Yeah. Okay. What's the court's pleasure? That motion will approve. Take a motion from Leon. I say for great to approve on the favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, next. That motion here is thank you, gentlemen. Number 12, Mr. C considered approved solicitation for a radio tower for the sheriff's office. Okay. Is this a 400 footer? Yes. Okay. Finally got some specifications for it, so we're ready to. Uh, Start the process. Probably they do it real soon. Yeah. Okay. Any questions, discussion, considerations? Make a motion to approve. Okay. You got a motion from, from Leon. Oh, okay. Sorry. Second. Second from Bruce. All in favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, thanks. That motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Don't sit down yet, Harold. You got a string of them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, number 13, consider approved purchase of dispatch furniture in the amount of $158,458.90 from Russ Bassett Corporation through HGAC contract EC0720. Okay, this is uh, for the new building, of course. Uh, this is just furniture that we understand, it, not another technology that goes with it. I uh, had Stephanie check around and see if we can find some comparative ones that are under other uh, co-ops and so far has not found anything. So mm -hmm. it's like, it's not what the sheriff's office will take decide they, they want and need. Okay. Just out of curiosity, did y'all consider uh, Texas Correctional Industries? No, I really didn't. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure. Did y'all talk to them? There's, with Motorola, there's some especially grounding issues that have to take place with this. That's right. Yeah. Thing, you mentioned that it's, it's the furniture that actually holds the dispatch radios and all their 911 equipment. Okay, everything. and these companies specialize in building this, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Judge, yes, I may interrupt the other furniture. This Ned, uh, Shirley, and some of the employees have gone to the prison and toured to see what they got. They have a catalog, but yes, sir, we checked into that. Okay, <clears throat> well, we'll make sure those convicts have jobs here. You know how is. <laughs> I mean, you're sending them up there, so. Terrible. I was hoping they'd keep Charlie, but they did. <laughs> this hundred and fifty eight thousand is coming. Don't consider that. Amount of the bill. So I'll try to treat that for the other person. I went and went approved. Got a motion from Leon to approve. Second. You got a second from Bruce. I'll ever say I uh, likewise no. that motion carries. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> Number 14, uh, Mr. C consider and approve. Solicitation for body armor from the sheriff's office. Uh, same thing, we got specifications from the sheriff's office and they want to vote for uh, bids. We're ready. All right. Make the motion to approve. Thank you. Motion for Leon and say Greg to approve. All favor say aye. Aye. Our class bids. Motion carries down. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, 15, consider approved solicitation of bids for asphalt overlay on County Road 460. Uh, 12,160. Square yards, oh, yeah, at yeah. 1.5 inch compacted depth. Uh, total yards, uh, DACP, and it says one tack for road and bridge one. Bruce, you got anything you want to add to it? Yeah, it's just a road we've done doing the subgrade on it, redoing it, and I want to go ahead and asphalt it. On the county right now, we're not capable of doing it, so we contract it out. Okay, uh, let me ask you. You know, our standards are two and a half compacted to two. How, how can we do this? I'm, I'm already going over. I'm not tearing the original road up. So under suggestions of Vulcan that we went out for, that would be fine for the specifications since I'm not tearing the old chip seal road out. We mm -hmm. just made patches. So I decided to go with the inch and a half, saving about $100,000. Okay, so no road base, nothing you've added to? 
No, no just on the, no, just on the very end when we've made patches. Okay. Good. Second. Motion for Leon. Second, Greg. All third. Yeah. I'm in. Same third, Greg. Okay. All third, say aye. Aye. I'm most curious. Thank you, gentlemen. Number 16, Mr. C, considered to approve adopting Liberty County Federal and State Awards procurement policies and procedures. I'm sure y'all all got your packets here. Yeah. C, so, you got anything in particular you want to yeah, bring uh, When well, we do contracts that have federal awards in them, uh, they have what's called Code of Federal Regulations, uh, Section 200. It's a wording. Uh, on a lot of different areas, uh, purchasing materials, where you purchase from, cost analysis, I mean, various things that you have to, they always want you to include them in the contract, um, which I know we did on the debris removal and the, and the monitoring, but but sometimes those change, sometimes they add to them, delete, and they're kind of hard to keep up with since we don't do it very often. Um, so usually, like in our purchasing manual we, that y'all adopted, we refer to the CFR 200, but the last uh, uh, audit I had on a was a project from several years back. Uh, one of the things they brought out is there was one or two sections of the CFR that was not in the contract that they wanted to see in there. And that's you know, through the years having those audits, you always next time it would be another section or whatever. But so we got with Grant Works. They they already had a template which had all the CFRs that should be in the counties because we don't have to do all of them, we just have to do some of them. Uh, the ones that they recommend, and then there's some procedures uh, that are the back part of this second part. Uh, we took theirs, we made it more adaptable for Liberty County, sent it back to them. They proved it, made a few more changes, and this is the final document we have here. So instead of going right now and changing our purchasing manual, which we knew do need to update, I just want to try to adopt this as a separate uh, supplement to our purchasing policy that y'all have, just made it separate, which I think will be a lot easier to take care of in future years. And this should, uh, and we'll work more with Grant Works in the future to make sure as, and they said they will, as they know there's some more changes coming that they'll keep us surprised of those changes and we'll make those changes as we go. So anyway, we need to adopt these just for the federal, federal awards. Okay. Yes, no, I, I concur that, um, my number 18 there is a duplicate of this. I think we had until January 7th uh, to, to do this. So we all rushed to yeah. try to get it on for today. So, yeah, no, I, I, I that's according to Bruce. I'll make the motion with Bruce. Second. <coughs> motion with Leon, second Bruce to Prune. I'll favor say aye. Uh, uh, likewise, no. That motion here. Thank you. Uh, number 17, Mr. C, considered approved. Contracts for sharp copiers for various departments for collecting copier solutions through by board contract number 6.6-20. And how's this working out? I mean, back in 2015 or 16, we started trying to get everybody on the same type copier. Yeah. Right now we have a few Conic Minotas. Uh, we've got probably probably close to half Xerox and then not maybe another half of Sharp. Uh, I think it's 22, 23 Sharps. Um, most of them were done pretty close to the same time. So we have, I think 11 or 12 of them coming up this month or next month in January that, that need, something needs to be done uh, about it. Uh, Xerox, we had good relationships in the past. Uh, we, we, we had one distributor we used for years and years and years. And they were pretty good. And then we switched to another one through Choice Partners because they were in Houston, the other one was in Louisiana. And we got some copiers through them, but they haven't been real responsive, in my opinion, to uh, like the county clerk has one she has a lot of problems with. And the county clerk's office that really needs a copy. We need a copy. Uh, so the sharp copiers would have, I've, I've heard one complaint, and I think they got that solved. Uh, but other than that, through the five years we've had them, I haven't heard much. Uh, Platinum Copiers does a great job as far as service. They're on 1960. Mm -hmm. uh, just on the other side of Costa I mean, and they're, they're close by. They do anything we want. But, so they gave us, I think y'all should have a folder. There's a little <laughs> spread out sheet in it, spreadsheet in it. What they did is they took the copiers that are, that are coming <coughs> soon, 
And they added them on here and put a price. Uh, it's three by board. Um, they're lease purchase. We lease purchase them through the Lodge Landing, which is a financing company. We pay them the lease on the machines. Uh, and then we pay platinum copiers for basic maintenance. We pay them by copies that we make. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the Xerox and, and the old model is that we're going to give this for so much a month, then we're going to allow this many copies. You go over, they charge you. You go under, you just lost that. They charge by the copies. So, mm -hmm. you know, it should, in the long run, work out better. You can you can finance them. Uh, you can pay them out over 36, 48, or 60 months, uh, however we choose. Um, we have been doing 60 months. See, what you want. Now they have in the lease purchase agreement, they do have in there that at the end of the lease, you can purchase them for a dollar. Uh, so what they have here is replacing all the machines immediately that they have on this list. There's gonna be a few other ones later in 2022. Um, or we can, but what I kind of like to do is because now I'm trying to get Nick involved because copiers do a lot more than copy now. And if he hooks them into our network, we can get a lot more out of them, maybe buy less desktop printers, that, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. So, and y'all know how busy he is with the Tyler and the, the sheriff off in the court system, all that. So, as he gets time, I want him involved in this. So, what I like to do is really, we have this list, the ones that are immediately go look at them, sit with the department, make sure it's good. If it's a copier they have and they don't make that many copies and it works fine, maybe we might consider just buying it for a dollar. We'll still pay the maintenance part for copies to platinum. <laughs> and then as we need to, we can get rid of it. We can do that, we can do them all, we can look at them separately. Um, you know, it's up to y'all. We can finance them 36, 48, 60 months. Always gonna be a dollar buyout. It's whatever commissioners for whichever. Uh, <clears throat> Way they think they want to go, but uh, dealing with Xerox, like I said, we had one out of Houston, and like I said, we, especially since COVID started, we had a really hard time getting any kind of service or information out of them. So I went back to our original Xerox that we used that was based in Louisiana, and I was talking to two ladies probably a month or two ago. And I said, Why don't you come out and visit? She said, Well, I'm in Canada. <laughs> so she, that's our rep. She's in Canada. So I'm like, French in both countries. Yeah. 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 So it's kind of nice maybe it gets a little closer or something. Yeah, as far as I know, the shark is okay. Uh, it's kind of y'all's decision. You want to just go ahead and renew them all like they are. If you want to look at them individually and renew them as, as we can, it's up to y'all. I'm not pushing them. Are these the ones that you're going to find yet set up as capital leases? Yeah. They are. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I know that's a, mm -hmm. it's a little different than an operating lease and a capital lease. On an accounting, it's a little more of a yeah, hassle. When you go to the capital leases. leases, then we have a lot of uh, things we need to keep up with from year to year on the maintenance right. contracts. Now, if it's a cost effective and it's, and it's going to save a lot of money. Yeah. And that's another thing I talked to Wayne a little bit about this. Okay. And, uh, also, I think they need to be involved. Nick needs to be involved. Auditor's office, but the financial side needs to be involved. Mm -hmm. It's a bill which we want to go, but either look at each one individually or just or no model as it is. I'd uh, I'd like we've got several department heads here today, and I'd like their opinion. Sheriff, how, how about Shirley? Is she happy? Shirley's happy. Oh, that's a that's a ninety percent check mark right now. Okay, we're happy. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, 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 there's a from from my standpoint it's it's easier for a management aspect if we get everybody on the same page right so we don't have all these different versions and different brands, different contracts. We can get the blanket under one account. We have the same machine, same functionality across the board, give or take, you know, some high, you know, high efficiency printers, copiers, et cetera. It makes everybody's life that much easier. Well, that was our intention. Yeah, exactly. We're heading in that direction. So, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. <laughs> what we do with Xerox, the last Xerox, we don't, don't approve the master contract. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was under choice partners. Here's your calls for the, they gave us a list of maybe 10 different machines. And then we changed a few of those out. So if you if you adopt basically sharp or platinum copiers or sharp copiers on my board, mm -hmm. that will basically be our master contract. Uh, and we'll use sharp or platinum from now on as we replace. 
And, and like I said, we have some that we're gonna have to make a decision real quick and go ahead and probably get a martyr. Yeah. Uh, because they're up to nine. Yours have already done. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna pass the on that. All right. Well, it's the court's pleasure. Make the motion to approve. Second. Got a motion, Leon. Say to Greg to approve. <coughs> say aye. 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 Likewise, that motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate the, uh, the healthy uh, discussion. Number 18. For Mr. Post to consider and approve an amendment to the Liberty County procurement policy and procedure to include cost reasonableness requirement. Yeah, so th this is a duplicate of 16 uh, that Harold put on there. We apparently both just really wanted to make sure we got on. Thank you, Jeff. Okay. Okay. Motion to Bruce, say Leon to approve. I'm to say aye. Uh, Mike Wilson is. <coughs> Number 19. Consider uh, <coughs> approve light item and transfer to uh, Ms. Chambers office. I would like to move this into the executive sessions, which we do have a, uh, an executive session planned already. Uh, and this would be to move this into the executive session of 551.074 personnel matters. Uh, so to do so, we need to make a motion. Motion, motion. Bruce, Senator Greg, all the favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. <laughs> also, Mr. Post, Mr. Post, Mr. Post, also, we have one other uh, item number nine to uh, one off So at this time, we will move. Now, 1044 a.m., and we're uh, out of the executive session back into regular session. Um, one item that we had discussion on uh, was uh, consider and receive advice of counsel concerning the placement of the fence in the middle of County Road 614. And uh, at this time, once the court's pleasure in that matter. Make the motion to table this. Oh, but we'd say take no action. I would, I would ask for a motion to take no action. Okay. All right. I'm about to presume that I'll make the motion to uh, take no action. No, I take that motion. Yeah. Thank you. I have a motion and a second. Motion from Leon, a second from Greg to take no action. I'll say aye. 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 Likewise, next. That motion carries. And the other uh, executive session item was uh, considered approved by item transfers for salaries. Uh, and we had our discussion, and we believe we had plenty of discussion. So, what is the court's pleasure at this time? I make the motion that uh, we uh, authorize our time, uh, Attorney Matthew Poston, to go out with an AG opinion on this subject. So, this line item. Second. Okay. Need to stop this thing. <laughs> okay. All right. We have a motion and a second to uh, authorize County Attorney Matthew Poston to uh, send uh, for an Attorney General opinion concerning this matter. All in favor say aye. Aye. Likewise, next. That motion carries. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Mike. Good turn. Okay. All right. Uh, before we do, Merry Christmas to everybody. Y'all uh, be safe out there. Happy New Year. Go enjoy your family and come back. Let's get to the next year. Whatever say hi.